it's my job as a healthcare professional to help you understand the facts. And that's why Dr. Michael Knight is documenting his experience taking the coronavirus vaccine on social media. Wanted to come in and give you a quick update on how I'm doing. He took the Pfizer vaccine about six days ago. Right away, he began posting videos on Instagram, telling his followers about some of his symptoms and how long they lasted. Definitely turned into more soreness this morning, kind of like I've been working out too much in this arm. No more soreness in my arm. Uh, no body aches, no low grade fever, no fatigue. But I've just gotten so many questions from people, from my friends, from my family members, people who are in, you know, healthcare, educated, uh, who are very scared. And Dr. Knight has taken those fears and questions and tried to help break them down in ways that are easily digestible for the everyday person. The COVID-19 vaccine does not have any viral particles in it. What it does is it gives your body, your cells, basically a recipe to make a protein that is similar to the protein that is found in the COVID-19 virus. When your body's immune system sees that protein, it makes antibodies, almost like soldiers, that will attack that protein. So once you're fully immunized, he says if you come in contact with the coronavirus, those soldiers basically have got your back and can fight it off. Dr. Knight says as a black doctor and as a member of the African-American community, he knows the weight that him doing this holds, especially because of centuries of medical institutions violating black people's trust. So as an African-American, I want to be able to show, you know what? I understand the science. I understand why you feel hesitant. So let me be an example for you. Let me be your guinea pig. I'll take it. Learn from me, learn from my experience, but also learn from the science. Now, Dr. Michael Knight added that it's important for people to see people who look like them and come from similar backgrounds and similar experiences in the medical world to talk about stuff like this and to validate their concerns so they don't miss out on what he calls a breakthrough in medical research. Allison. All right. I love it. Michael, thank you so much.